Hello and welcome to today's live webinar, Good Documentation Practices. My name is Afsane Motamed Khorasani and I'm the presenter today for this subject. In this webinar, I'm going to um, review this outline that I have listed here. So we go over the scope of what we are going to cover. Um, I have a couple of pages of abbreviations just for your use. You are welcome to review. Um, this is uh, just the abbreviations I have used during this um, webinar today. Then I'm going to describe good documentation practices and to explain why it is important in any regulated environment for manufacturing. Um, I'm going to also provide the minimum requirements for uh, GDP um, and the reason why it can help. Um, also to go over the rules you need to know and follow when dealing with documentation in a regulated environment. Um, U.S. Pharmacopeia General Chapter 1029 also will be discussed at a very, very high level and I'm going to briefly touch upon rules governing medicinal products in the European Union again at a very high level and uh, I will cover GDP enforcement um, in the um, final part of the presentation with providing some FDA observations and excerpts of FDA uh, warning letters to elaborate some of the contents that we discussed um, before that. And finally, I have a summary at the end and some references for your review in case you want to learn and read more about GDP. Uh, now let's discuss deviations, which I'm sure all of you are familiar with since it's often happening in the work environment. So in spite of all the qualified equipments and trade employees and all the validated process and everything that we do, the daily routine of manufacturing is prone to situations where um, the approved workflow will fail to deliver what is expected. So for this reason, it's very important not only to define the workflows for production in normal cases, uh, but also to specify what is considered um, or defined as deviation. So we know what happens um, or what we need to do if this happens. So with this, um, let's just start to discuss some general GDP principles in relation to lab notebook documentation specifically. So now I'm going to focus on GDP that is discussed in the newly released above thousand general chapter 1029 from US Pharmacopeia under the name of Good Documentation Guidelines. Uh, at this point, um, I would like to elaborate a little bit also on GDP and the European Union view of it. Now that we have discussed the rules and regulations of GDP and we know what needs to be done, let's discuss the enforcement of GDP and how it is applied by different regulatory bodies around the world. In the following slides, I have gathered uh, different occasions of 483s or warning letters that were issued to different companies for failing to follow GDP in their documentation and record keeping. In the next few slides, I'm going to show you some excerpts of observations that were issued by FDA to different companies in the year 2013 for violating different GDP um, rules and regulations. In summary, GDP rules and regulations are very simple and easy to follow. You can follow us uh, at Facebook or Twitter to stay up to date on what we have to offer. Again, thanks for being with us for this webinar and hope to have you soon again. Bye.